That is Troy Coughlin Jr. and that is Troy Coughlin Sr. And what is he thinking about on the starting line of the Orlando Speed World? Hi, my name is Scott Susie, and this is season two of Real Pro Stock. And I think I know what Troy Coughlin Jr. is thinking. He's thinking about last year, the World Door Slammer Nationals 2020. Jeggy, his uncle, just wins it. And now the keys are his, and he's got to carry this thing across the finish line as the winner in 2021. So it's the C-Tech World Door Slammer Nationals brought to you by Jags. We're going to send it up to the tower with Altucci for Q3. Let's go. Greg Anderson sitting on top. Can anyone take him out? All right. Listen up. Pro Stock Eliminator to the lanes. Round number three of qualifying. Pro Stock. Could be real Pro Stock, but it is real Pro Stock. Pro Stock Eliminator to the lanes. Round number three. It is real Pro Stock, and the World Door Slammer Nationals are ready to go at the Orlando Speed World. And we're just going to let them run. The next time you hear me talk is when we uh, meet some familiar faces, and uh, you'll see who I'm talking about. So let's let it run. Here you go, everybody.
qualifications are complete. Greg Anderson stays on top, 6.531, 210 miles an hour, going into eliminations. And who's that? Oh, that's your PDRA Extreme Pro Stock, real Pro Stock champion, Johnny Pluccino. And he's not invited to this door slammer event. You got the Voss guys, Dylan and Corey there, the future of real Pro Stock drag racing. And thanks again, David Brown, for bringing us uninterrupted coverage of the 2021 World Door Slam and right, though, Let's Orlando talk to Lonnie Grimm. From tip to tail is second to none. Uh, we come in here, uh, we only work together one time a year. And for those guys to all fall in, in their positions and do what they do, wear many, many hats from safety to track to starter to top end to spotters. Here at Orlando Speedway, you won't come another place that has a better staff. Yeah, but tell me now, you mentioned it, starters. Who is this guy? So, this guy, he's got to get in here. He's the one that doesn't want to be on camera, but uh, his name is Randy Lee. Randy Lee and I have worked together in many, many different facets in a lot of different events. He's taking care of a lot of things as, as we speak for Ozzy, both at SGMP and at Orlando Speed World on the switch, and always make sure their starting line is safe and ready to go. Randy, where else have you been operating lately? Uh, Kuwait. I uh, was in Kuwait with Tyler Cross Snow for approximately a month uh, doing their Pro Mod series. Uh, do all of PDRA. Uh, I'm not on the switch there. Mr. Kyle Lang is your starter there. I'm kind of a, uh, they call it the utility knife, I think is what it's been named. That's the one. Uh, do a little bit of everything. Uh, also do uh, Outlaw Street Car Reunion coming back again this year. Uh, Shakedown. Uh, the Halloween Classic for Mr. Bader in Norwalk. Uh, also the Technical Director, Competition Director at Atlanta Dragway. World what, Cup. Uh, do World Cup for Jason and Chris Miller. Where else am I at? LS Fest. Oh, you LS can. Fest. Uh, do a lot of events for Holly along with Mr. Grimm here. Me and him kind of team up with Mr. We just Chester. figured there's, there's 52 weekends in a year. Somewhere in the country we can race 52 weekends. So. Uh, we probably tie up about 40, Eight. 47, 48 of them. So. Well, this weekend is the World Door Slammer Nationals, and these guys are doing one heck of a job. This year, there's no ladder. We're doing a chip draw every round till we get to the semifinals. Wow. Anything else, Randy? No, sir. And very little has to happen now before the Door Slammer Nationals gets underway. Uh, the chip draw is almost ready. The final track preparations are being made. The final pre-job brief is being given by Wes Buck. Everybody's huddled at the starting line, and uh, boy, it's all coming together, and it's almost These here. Guys are going to be revved up. I predict we're going to have a little bit of a cluster when we, when we bring these cars up here and are drawing names. Last year, we did a great job getting those cars angled in the staging lanes. I think so. The pre-job brief is complete. The final track preparations are complete. The pro stock stars are in the lanes and they are ready to rock and roll. There is one thing left to be done. So we've got actually two things left to be done. We've got the chip draw, we've got the opening ceremony, and then we are on the track taking it and driving it towards the $75,000 purse here at the World Door Slammer Nationals. And as you can see, all of the huge stars are here on the grounds, ready to rock and roll. And we got Alex Laughlin, we've got Derek Kramer, and Erica Enders, and you know, this is just out of control for, for me to be there and to experience this is just an amazing thing. Aaron Stanfield, we got Dallas Glenn. Nate Van Wagner gives us the thumbs up. All of the stars are forming on the starting line. We've got Courtney Anders walking to her position, final position to cover this event. And Joe Castello will take us into the chip draw. Let's go, Joe. Speed World, the C-Tech World Door Slammer Nationals, presented by Jenks. You're gonna draw your chip but you're not going to reveal what it is. You're going to take your chip and you're going to go. And what we're going to do is we're going to ask you to step forward, the number one step forward, the number two step forward. So unlike last year, where everybody held up their chip, do not do that this year. We're going to dramatic reveal. Find out who is this 
Who's ready for the biggest shootout in the history of pro stock and pro mod drag racing? We got we to gotta get excited, Joe. All right, thank you guys so much for coming and being a part of this. This is what we do here at the World Door Slammer Nationals. Real quick, huge shout out to SeaTech, Jags for helping us put this on, all of our sponsors. Make sure you call these guys, tell them thank you, spend money with them, pay full price, overnight it. Do all you can to support these people, all right? So, Joe, I'm sorry, I just, we needed to talk louder. All right, listen. All right, everybody, who's ready for the tip to off? Here at the SeaTech World Door Slammer Nationals, get louder than that. Greg Anderson, your number one qualifier. Greg has got his chip. Don't lose that. Don't put it in a slot machine. I should save that advice for Kid Chaos. Next up, the reigning four-time world champion, Miss Erica Enders. Yes! The next generation of Jag superstars. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Troy Coughlin, Jr. All right, this is where the chip slot machine gambling joke comes in. Kid Chaos, Kyle Koretsky, the next generation of chaos. All right, drives for Elite, Mr. Aaron Stanfield. He is your factory showdown world champion. He already won a race in pro stock. He has got his chip. All right, you see, this is setting up a big reveal. Next up, a rookie, a true rookie, when it comes to driving, but he's been working for KB, Mr. Dallas Glenn. Dallas, hey, they love you, Dallas. All right, next up, Kirk Kramer. Get biofuel. Derek Kramer, he's definitely wearing the best mask of the bunch. Way to go, Derek Kramer. And all right, Bo Butner. Bo knows a lot of things, but Bo knows drag racing. Bo Butner driving a Mustang for Elite. He's got his chip. He's ready to go. We got our U.S. Nationals winner. We got our Lights Out winner. We got our Ladies first. Have you had to man, the fans were in here chasing down Bruno Massel. Bruno fought him off, and now he's pulling his chip. That's the winner right there. Go, Bruno Massel. Now look at the Quadra family. In order, Fernando Jr. going to be first out. Fernando Jr. And then Quadra. Next up, we're doing this in order of qualifying. You were in your chips in there. Okay, you got Fernando, right? You got Fernando for 60. Oh, you already skipped. All right, everybody. It's all off. It's all your fault, man. Get in there, Alan. Sorry. Alan's got to ship. Next up, Mr. Kenny Delco. Finally got it all stored up. And finally, our number 16 qualifier. Where is John Simone? There he is, John. John, he's going last second. All right. Everybody has got our chips. Who are our number ones? Our number ones are just going to step forward. We are we'll going to know. call the number, and then that number will step forward. You guys know what your chip says, except for you, Aaron. You haven't figured that out yet. The number ones. Bo Butner's got a number one. And Troy. Champ, first champ, Emmy winner, show us the number ones. Gentlemen, are you ready to race? Our number twos, our number twos. Who's got the number two? Dallas Glenn. And who else? Our Nam Nam Quadra. He's cheating me. He's cheating me. Wrong number. He wants a different number. Here it is, Fernando Quadra, Dallas Glenn. You guys ready? You ready for this? Yes, sir. Ready to take off. He gets a rookie. We're not going to put extra pressure on poor Dallas Glenn yet, are we, Wes? Not yet. Let's let him get a little money. We're going to put a lot of pressure. He practices a lot. Go get ready, guys. Go get ready. Pesos. <laughs> I, don't know what, I, I don't know what the exchange rate is, Fernando. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. All right, number threes. Number threes. Step forward. Number threes. Who are number threes? All right. Kenny Dalco and another Quadra. Here we go. The number threes. Look at Kenny. He's rocking his mask chain, matching colors. Very fancy. Very fancy. Kenny, are you going to get after this kid or what? No. no, he says he's going to be. Go get ready. Go get ready. Go get ready. All right. Number fours, number fours. Return your chips. Return your chips. Sorry. Four. Number four. Number four pair. Number four. All right. John Cervone. Number four pair. And the other Padra. Here we go. All right. There is a number four pair. They're going to battle it up. Frank Iaconio Power. Under the hood. 
Excellent. John Cervone, good job, John. By the way, jump in. Making it happen. All right, now the number five pair. Erica Anders and Bruno each other. All right, so this is a race where there could maybe be a little something extra on the line. What do you say, Bruno? You got a shot at the champ here. Did you hear that in HRA? Did you hear what he just said? Just kidding. Erica, what about it? Going up against Bruno, he's a competition eliminator champ. This would be awesome for him to load you up on the trailer first round. That would be two years in a row. You cannot let that happen. Well, everybody know what the stakes are, Erica. The stakes are high, we're excited to meet her. Um, I, I want to thank Westbrook and Richard Freeman and all the people that made this race possible. Being behind the scenes, I know how much work it took for this one. So, thank you to all the fans for coming out. I am going to try to get some redemption first round. I'm excited I got my team around, but I worked with them. I know what he's capable of. So, I'll do our best. There you go. Go get ready. Get ready. That was our number five pair. How about this? Go racing. Are you loving it? I'm loving it. Let's get our number sixes out here. Number six is, who's our sixth pair? Greg Allison and Kid Chaos. All right, Greg, I'm going to go easy on you and not offer up any like extra side wager on this one because I know who you're going up against. Let me talk to the kid, though. Kyle, you run for KB Racing. This has been a dream of yours, and now you get a shot at the man first round of the World Door Slammer Nationals. How does this feel? Uh, it doesn't feel good. It feels good to be here, but definitely on the race are doing it. But uh, we're going to go out there and just do our thing and race uh, our race. And there you go. Now I know it's a, it's a very tough deal. Is there any wager you'd like to put on the line against Greg here? Maybe not monetary, but something? An extra race or something? Nah, just to get the race here in front of everybody here. They kind of wait for us. Nah, we're good. Kick Chaos says it all. What about UGA? I'm just happy to be here, Joe. It's a fantastic event. You're going to do about twice as good as the first year. I can't wait. I did the same damn thing last year. I did Kyle on the number one round. Obviously, not very good at the round. We're going to have a great drag race. One of the Katie racing cars is going in the second round. And last year, you made the final round. Came up a little bit short. Is that in there? That was $75,000. It helps. Yeah. Well, sure, but obviously that gets you nothing today. You've got to start all over and anyone any one of these drivers can whoop anyone out of here. So we'll see what happens. There you go, Greg Anderson, Anderson four-time champ, winning his active racer in pro stock. Running up against Kid Chaos for the second year in a row. What was that? Was, uh, was that seven? Was that six? Was that seven? What are we down to? We're down to the uh, seven. We're number seven. We have our sevens. Step forward, sevens. There we go. There we go. All right. All right, Derek. He's got the number seven. Derek, last year, all kinds of side wagering. In on this. What about this one? Going up against Kid Aaron Sandfield. Are you ready? Well, as you know, last year, Dad, I was ready to go for a chunk of change, and I'm still actually paying for that. I don't think there's going to be any side wagering. Today. I got you. Yeah, you lost twenty-five thousand dollars in a very expensive restaurant bill to Bo Butner. Uh, you're going after the kid. The kid's gonna be ready. Let's talk to Aaron Sandfield. You're a factory showdown champ. You've already won a race in Pro Stock. Now you got to go up against one of the KB cars. Are you ready, Aaron Sandfield? I'm ready to go. We're uh, ready. I'm ready to do, uh, see what we can do. You know, I spent a lot of money on the entry fee, so I can't. Uh, I can't put any money out. So we're rolling that big money today. Seventy-five thousand. There it is, they're ready to rock and roll. Go get ready for first round. All right, we got our seven. Woo! I don't care what you're talking about. No, the result. Come on forward, number eight. Woo! We got, you gotta watch out. This is a big boy right here. Alex is like, yeah, let's. Nah, maybe not. Maybe not. Alex won the U.S. Nationals. He won right down. He won this race a year ago in Pro Modified, but you're trying to get it done in Pro Stock. You got an hour for this. Tell us what you're going to do. You know, our car's been running pretty decent uh, all weekend so far. We unloaded, uh, made one lap in testing, and it really was flawless. We stuffed the back of the trailer so we were good to go. Uh, I ended up falling on my ran into a couple little problems in there, but I'm completely confident that we've got a good race car now, and uh, I'm excited for the first round, and, you know, hopefully it's a long day. And Alan, you know, this kid's won the U.S. Nationals. You've been uh, working real hard to stay out here. You've got E-Car Mover helping you out. This would be a big win for you guys to get to the later rounds. No doubt. We're definitely going to make a lot better run than we've been making all week, but I think we'll be all right. All right. Go get ready. Ladies and gentlemen, here at Orlando Speed World, those are your round one pairings for our road stop. Great job, Joe. Thank you so much. Let's get a quick word with Wes Buck. 
First and foremost, the, the momentum started in Denver, the, the, the started in Denver, Colorado. The movement started in Denver, Colorado. And it's really just a, just it's a, it's a mindset shift away. is what we've, what we've accomplished. Is we've made it known around the world that door slammer drag racing is a show. It's a marquee attraction. We started that tradition. We started that trend in Denver, Colorado. We're continuing it here in Orlando, Florida. Mars may be next. Thank you so much, Wes. I want to introduce you to the man, Mr. Wes Buck. Wes, take it away. Thank you so much, Joe. First and foremost, I'd like to thank all you fans for coming out and supporting us. This is what Pro Stock, Pro Mod, Top Sportsman, Comp Eliminator, Stock Super Stock, Factory Shootout, this is what these guys deserve to race in front of a huge crowd, and that wouldn't be the case without all y'all. So thank you so much. Thank you. song of the world, ladies and gentlemen, and now our national anthem. This is what we've been waiting for all COVID-19 year. The SeaTech World Door Slammer Nationals brought to you by JEGS. It's the Orlando Speed World. Up first, we've got in the right lane, Troy Coughlin Jr. and in the left lane, Bo Butner. Let's go.
Troy Coughlin Jr. moving on, moving on. Next up is Dallas Glenn and Fernando Cadra Sr. Fernando Cordra Sr. lining up a little late, just completing his burnout. I mean, Dallas Glenn has already returned to the starting line, so there's a really good sportsmanship going on here uh, by Dallas Glenn. And uh, wonderful patience as uh, Fernando Cordra Sr. moves through his process of getting to the beams. Way to go, Dallas Glenn, rookie, pro stock, NHRA pro stock trim. Nice run, Dallas. Moving on to the second round of eliminations. Up next, Kenny Delco and Christian Cardra. They're going to battle it out and see if they can make it to the second round of eliminations. Kenny Delco will remember uh, his crash in St. Louis, and it's really good to see him back. Christian Cardra, see how he does against the many years of experience of Kenny Delco, and there he is, Wes Buck, the man. Thanks for having me, Wes. And so Jerry Haas, race cars, putting together an incredible product, uh, keeping Kenny alive, and now he's back in a Jerry Haas race car product. Here at the World Door Slammer Nationals, the SeaTech Manufacturing World Door Slammer Nationals, presented by JEGS. Kadra taking home the victory and moving on to the second round of eliminations. And there he is, Tommy Lee. Real pro stock Tommy Lee taking over this operation and managing it. And next up is John Serbone in the right lane with Fernando Kadra Jr. in the left lane. And uh, so we've got senior Kadra out. Christian Cadra's in, moving on to the second round. Can Fernando keep up with his younger brother? Uh, we shall see. John Serbone, right lane. Let's see what he's got. I think he was 16th, qualified 16th. Final preparations are being made. Drivers are moving to the beams. Let's go. John, something happened on the starting line there. And it looks like Fernando Cordray Jr. will move on to the second round. And next up, here we go, Erica Enders and Bruno Massel. Erica Enders with four championship rings on her finger, Bruno Massel, announcer extraordinaire for Fox Sports, NHRA announcer. Let's see how these two line up, stack up. 
I don't know. My money's on Erica. I don't know. She's just a great driver. We'll see. Can Bruno do anything? Come on, Erica. Let's... I'm not... I'm sorry. I can't root for anyone. But uh, let's go, Bruno. Let's go, Erica. off the pace looks like it's an easy one for erica congratulations erica moving on to round two great job next up greg anderson and kyle koretsky teammates going at it greg anderson in the right lane with a nice burnout where's kyle there he is Nice burnout. Kyle, so Greg, going out in the finals last year to Jed Coughlin Jr., an incredible drag race to end that, the 2020 World Door Slammer Nationals. Now, teammates are squaring off here. Kyle in the left lane, Greg Anderson in the right lane, top qualifier in the right lane, and fourth qualifier in the left lane in Kyle Koretsky. Here we go. Does anyone have anything for Greg Anderson? Both on the pace, it's a drag race. Golly G. Willikers. Chaos was almost there. Congratulations, Greg Anderson, moving on to round two. The Get Biofuel, Derek Kramer in the left lane with Aaron Stanfield in the right lane. The young guns are ready to battle. Stanfield moving on. Stanfield moving on. Let's go. Next up, Alex Laughlin, the Drive Anything guy, and Alan Brzezinski. Who's got this one? We got. Uh, cut that out. You've got Richard Freeman lining up. At Alex Laughlin in the right lane. Alan Brzezinski in the left lane. Can Alan pull anything out of his bag of tricks to get this done?
Red light, Alan Brzezinski. Alex Laughlin moving on to the second round of eliminations with a nice run there. And it is an absolute circus atmosphere here at the Orlando Speed World. It's the SeaTech Manufacturing World Door Slammer Nationals brought to you by Jags. We've got the leader of Speed Society right there holding on to the uh, gator and having fun. It is absolutely out of control. This is the Super Bowl of drag racing. And if you have not been here, you need to come here to the World Door Slammer Nationals at the Orlando Speed World where you're going to have an absolutely fantastic time getting close, getting up personal with all these stars of drag racing, door slammer drag racing. And thanks again, David Brown, for bringing me here. Let's get back to the track and see what's going on. What's up, everybody? It's your man, Slam and Sam, from the Competition Plus Power Hour, and I have my better half here. Some people may know him as Monday Morning Racer, but he is the Amish guy with the Stevie Wonder glasses on. Hey. Baby, yes, I'm the Amish Monday morning racer out here. We survived the John Force interview. I still have not got my answer on religion, politics, and sex, though. Maybe one day he will clue us all in. Hey, together, we're strong, but apart, kind of weak. It's like I'm playing, hey, if you guys like real pro stock from the limo guy, smash that subscribe button, smash that like and help him grow. It's your man, Sam and Sam, signing out. Limo guy, great guy. Check all out the As we got crazy imports up and other cars, check the limo guy out. And even if it's Scott, him too. Anybody. Thank you so much, guys. I really appreciate that. You're awesome. And let's get back to the second round of drag racing here at the Orlando Speed World. It is Troy Coughlin Jr. in the right lane and Christian Caudra in the left lane. And this is going to be one heck of a matchup. And so, I guess I'm starting to notice something going on with the right lane. Are you noticing that too? I don't know. Let's, let's keep an eye on that and take a look at the pavement right there. If you notice in that area, there are some areas that are not completely covered by rubber. So... I don't, I don't know. I'm not an expert, but I, I got a couple of, I got a pair of eyes here and I'm starting to notice some things. I, I don't know. Uh, we'll see how all of that plays out over the next couple of rounds of eliminations. It's real pro stock. It's the Orlando Speed World. It's the SeaTech Manufacturing World Door Slam Nationals brought to you by Jags. Shake. What is going on? Oh. Whoa. I'm in shock like you're in shock. Christian Carter is moving on. Troy Coughlin Jr. is going to have to think about this one until the next World Door Slammer Nationals. Wow. Next weekend's Gainesville, so he's off to Gainesville, but he'll have to think about that one for quite some time. Next up, Erica Enders in the right lane and Alex Laughlin in the left lane. And so they picked each other. And if you remember Lonnie describing the process, they were going to pick again who they were going to stack up against, go up against in the second round of elimination. So Erica and Alex picked each other. Wow, what a matchup right here. If I remember correctly, I believe Alex eliminated Erica last year, so, hmm. Mm. Alex is off the pace and Erica is moving on to the third, the semifinals. Wow, and what a nice run too. Way to go, Erica. Awesome deal. Congratulations. Cannot wait to see how you stack up against, hmm, I wonder who she's gonna have. We'll see. A 
couple of nice burnouts there. We've got Aaron Stanfield in the right lane and Fernando Cordra Jr. in the left lane. They picked each other. Let's see how this shakes out. <laughs> it's really great to see, I got to say. I'm an old guy, I commit it, but it's nice to see some of these young guys dueling. Race. Here we go. Nice. Unbelievable. Way to go, Fernando Cordra Jr. And so Christian Cordra, Fernando Cordra Jr., Erica Enders, and who do we have? Who's left? We've got Greg Anderson and Dallas Glenn. Greg Anderson in the right lane, Dallas Glenn in the left lane. Who is going to the semifinals? Rookie in the left lane, elder statesman in the right lane, Greg Anderson, top qualifier. Can he make it to the semifinals? Oh my, here we go. of it. Here we go. Greg Anderson, 649-212. Wowza. What a run, Greg. They are not showing all their cards. And so we've got Christian Carter, Fernando Carter Jr., Eric Enders, and Greg Anderson rolling into the semifinals. And once again, thank you, David Brown. We are back. Uninterrupted coverage brought to you by David Brown, the Greenville Group. Make sure you go get your mortgage there. Start the process. We've got Greg Anderson in the right lane and Fernando Quadra Jr. in the left lane. Wowza. I guess all of my suspicions about the right lane were not correct, right? I mean, everyone in the right lane has been running some major times. So um, I'm probably not an expert on uh, what's going on on the ground there. Uh, that's why we've got uh, such great guys like Randy Lee on the starter and all the track prep guys doing such a great job keeping this track in shape as these pros just tear up this track and move closer and closer to the finals. Who's going to walk away with the 75000 from the SeaTech Manufacturing World Door Slammer Nationals presented by Jags? Here we go. Greg Anderson's off the pace, and Fernando Cardra Jr. is going to run into the finals. <laughs> this is amazing. What a great time. <laughs> Unbelievable job by Tommy Lee there. Unbelievable. And now he's got to go help out with Christian Cardra. Erica Enders in the right lane. Here we go. Tommy Lee right back to it. Um, wow, what an amazing deal to take out Greg Anderson. What a great job, Fernando Carter Jr. And what is going on here? We've got a problem. We've got backfire. The car is not running. It's on the line. Erica is done with her burnout. Christian finally has the car fired. Let's see if he can get off a good burnout here. Wow. Wow. 
unbelievable semifinals going on here. Erica Enders patiently waiting on Christian in the left lane. Uh, Richard Freeman giving some last moments of advice to Erica. I'm sure Erica is taking it under advisement as she moves towards her fifth NHRA Pro Stock Championship, hopefully in 2021, giving her five championships. Unbelievable. So the amount of experience in the right lane versus the amount of experience in the left lane, we think we know what the outcome is going to be. Uh, Richard slams the door. Christian's ready to rock and roll. Here we go. Looks like a drag race here, everybody. On a whole shot versus Erica Enders. Wow, who would have thought? Codger versus Codger in the finals. Tommy Lee, congratulations to the Codger family. Wow, Fernando Codger Sr. there. Congratulations. Wow, who would have thought that this would play out this way? Unreal. $75,000 to the Codger family. Tommy Lee, man, wow. So proud of this, man. So proud of you. What an amazing effort. <laughs> what a way to, to seal off this weekend. Yes! Thank you so much, Tommy, for that mention, man. That means everything. Thank you. Uh, we'll probably split the purse. <laughs> I, I believe we're going to have to. I believe we're going to have to. Yeah. I'm sure you guys are going to have to split the purse and then off into the pits. And what has been communicated to the team is, is that, hey, take your time getting ready for the final. They'll slow the show down. Uh, no problem. They're just going to wait for you guys to make it to the line. So. I mean, now that we've won, I'm going to throw everything and he's going to do it the same. Who would have thought that the two of us in the finals the cars are running great, so he's going to be a decider in the light. I'm 25 and he's 21, so I'm the older brother. Hopefully he will let me win it. I doubt that. We'll yeah. <laughs> we'll see. Congratulations. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Both of these guys, Christian unavailable for interview, but congratulations, Fernando. Um, both of these guys, you know, they, they have been performing all weekend long, and when that happens, you know, the big dog, Wes, shows up in the pits and, uh, you know, hey, the the real guys that are covering the flow tv shows up and you know everything is moving along and getting ready for the finals and you know they're thrashing they're in the middle of thrashing and christian's got his transmission out trying to fix it and there he is fernando's helping him so it's really kind of cool and it all comes back to you know hey tommy lee what a great job uh really really proud of this guy such an amazing competitor when he was over with uh, Mountain Motor Pro Stock guys, real Pro Stock guys, uh, John Montecalvo at the PDRA, and now he's taking it. Took those guys to the next level, now he's taking these guys to the next level, and I'm really, really proud. And if you look at the pavement now, go ahead, take a little look at that, man. It's, uh, that right lane is, uh, something's going on there, you know, and it's, um, you know, they're trying to line these cars up as they come through that burnout area, and, uh, you know, we'll see. Uh, so we've got... Uh, Christian Cadre in the right lane, Fernando in the left lane. Let's see how it all pans out. This is it, the finals. The SeaTech Manufacturing World Door Slammer Nationals, and congratulations to the Cadre family. This is just the procedural uh, administrative deal here, and uh, let's see what these guys do in the finals. It's their final, let's let it run. Let's let uh, them finish it, and uh, you won't hear my voice anymore. Go ahead.
red light for Christian. Fernando walks away as the Pro Stock Champion of the SeaTech Manufacturing World Door Slammer Nationals presented by Jags. Wow, what a weekend for this amazing family. Uh, let's see if we can catch up with the guys and get some words. Yes, sir. Congratulations. No, thank you. Uh, Christian, congratulations on making thank you so much. finals, guys. Wow, what a, what a great thing. Unbelievable. I want to know one thing. How did the fist fight go top end? <laughs> uh, Who won? Who won? <laughs> it, it, it was a big hug. That's big it. Hug. Yeah. Yeah. Congratulations, no, guys. What thank you. Job, thank you. Man. Appreciate job. everything. Thank you so much. All right, take care. You know, we showed up here <clears throat> Wednesday morning. And, you know, put the motors in the car and got everything ready. We did no testing over the winter. And, you know, had to just fit everything, get everything going. And it, it just struggled a little bit, you know, testing the other day. And, and uh, just the tune-up on the motors, it took us a while because Frank had new intakes on the motors and the tune-up was, you know, a little bit hard to get right. And uh, working on the chassis a little bit. And uh, Junior hadn't been in the car since July a year ago, or last year. And, uh, you know, took him a lap or two. Actually, he just got in the car and drove right down the rack. He did an awesome job. And, uh, and we just uh, had an engine miss in it, couldn't get it straightened out during, uh, you know, the testing and qualifying. And uh, we just been working and working and kept working and kept thrashing and just, uh, you know, we got three cars. It's not easy. And uh, we just had a, I mean, it turned out you couldn't have, you couldn't have forecasted and written down a better outcome than what we've had this weekend. Last question. How did you know which lane to stand in? <laughs> well, <laughs> My primary car is the blue car. And then, of course, I do senior's green car. I do it. But he's like, he wants the boys to run the best. He, he, he wants to drive, have fun, wants to win now. Don't get me wrong. But he wants me to concentrate most on the boys' cars. I'm so proud of you, man. Congratulations on a great oh. World Door Slammer Nationals. <laughs> Outstanding. NHRA Real Pro, Pro Stock Trim, you are the man. Thank you. I appreciate that. and I couldn't be more proud of these guys. They freaking drove awesome today. And this weekend, all of you guys were Real Pro Stock Trim. Great job. Thank you. Thank you. And to button it all up, congratulations, Fernando Quadra Jr. winning Pro Stock here at the SeaTech Manufacturing World Door Slammer Nationals from the Orlando Speed World. This is Scott Susie wrapping up your coverage here of this event. And here we go, the money throw. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching. We really appreciate you, all of the shares, all of the comments, all of the reverberation. We really appreciate it. We cannot do this without your support. Thank you very much to our sponsors, especially David Brown for bringing us to this event. We really appreciate it. Enjoy some bloopers. Did you see that, Hugo? Woo! I mean, that ain't Slowpoke Rodriguez. He got a gun. <laughs> <laughs> Unreal. Talk about putting your foot in it, the right lane. Did we got the name on file up there? Who's in the right side? My Hailene Racing, Raul Reyes, and Los Controles, Reyes Electric, Taller La Colavera, En Dorado, Puerto Rico, Master Mind, mi gente. God, this guy. El Undertaker, Jomar Gomez, and Los Controles. Number one, right here. Buscando el récord mundial. Estamos gozando. Ayúdalo, Divina Pastora. And the owner of the car sells auto parts in Puerto Rico. Yeah, poor, I gotta get a ladder. I gotta get Yo, Mar Gomez, el Undertaker. Mastermind. Here we go. Building a boost, baby. He's in. Uh oh. Yo.
I brought a gator. I'm out to go get the Tooch train. Stay tuned for this one. Creció bajo la tutela de Edwin Burgos. Ladies and gentlemen, no, please don't. I'm terrified of, I am lizards, snakes, and everything. I can't stand them. This one's nice though, oh, man. Just, listen, dude, my turtle just, look at him looking at me. My turtle just went in the shell and he's going, look at the fat guy. He likes dark meat. Yeah. Like, start me, Kenny. Hey, you don't want to pet no, him? Oh, no, no, I don't want to do it to you, man. I don't want you to jump out the window he's there. beautiful and all that, but you know what? He doesn't just some guy have a heart attack. <laughs> <laughs> you think that's funny, Sam? Ow, what, what? No, don't do that. Puerto Rico! That brings all the sheep from the mountain. Hit me!